الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله Life is short and full of trials and tribulations full of fitna, full of struggle. And there's no one who isn't tested in some way, form. And being tested and tried requires patience. It requires sabr ala ta'atillah patience and being obedient to Allah was sabr on masiyatillah and patience by refraining from disobedience disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all the other ways in which one needs to be patient patience with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests the mu'mineen. He tests the believers. And the believers, although they don't refrain from everything in this worldly life, but they should be, in general, moderate and modest. And that they should have a degree of zuhud, of asceticism, where, or in which they do not allow their hearts to become attached to the dunya. And this is why the Prophet والسلام, said, A dunya, Sijin al Mu'min, Wujanat al Kafir, that the dunya, this worldly life, is a prison for the believer. And it is paradise for the disbeliever. And that is because the Mu'min is, must refrain from some of the delights of the dunya. Not meaning that they're in prison, that they can't enjoy anything. They can't enjoy the halal, no. But rather, to be overindulgent and being enticed and immersing oneself in the haram. So this is the role of the believer. Enjoy and take from the dunya. It doesn't mean that you, you repel wealth. You don't want wealth to be able to use for khair and making positive changes. But rather, it's desiring haram wealth or having that wealth, having your heart attached to obtaining wealth as if that is the end and everything else is just a means so this is what the mu'min should concern his his self with or herself with is those issues related to their iman and using this worldly life to bring them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم